the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Hmm? You guys ready? Welcome to F*** Your Feelings Friday. Shout out to all you people that are thinking about getting a big snake. It's work. I've, I've cleaned these three cages probably three times each in the last 24 hours. These guys have just been pissing up a storm this last 24 hours. And now my shoulders stink of retic piss. I've got a crick in my neck, so it's like kind of a pain to get in there. And it probably takes me about, on average, about a half hour per cage, depending on how messed up it is. But my point is, it's, it's just, it takes time. It takes time to clean these animals. and. It's time you're never gonna get back. So if you're thinking about it, just make sure you keep in mind how much time you're gonna have to dedicate for a long time. It is time. So what we're gonna get into today, I got a gift from my buddy Jason. Uh, I wanna give a quick shout out to Kiko Man for keeping uh, your sodium levels elevated for the past 300 years, running strong. I probably have on average six cups of coffee in a whole year. This year I've blown it out of the water. I probably had like a good 40 cups of coffee this whole year and I had like two today, so I'm... <laughs> It's really foggy out there today, which is pretty cool. I think I might send the drone up and fly through the fog. I've never done that before to see what it looks like foggy and maybe it won't be a good idea. Maybe it will be a good idea. We'll find out. We're gonna do a Cusco on cut today. That's happening. Ooh, shout out to Brittany Gobble. Recently gotten into keeping snakes and has kept animals before and raised animals before and she started a YouTube channel. She has a YouTube channel. She's getting into some really cool projects on the snakes and um, we're gonna talk about her a little later, but I'd like to invite you guys to go ahead and check out her channel. There'll be a link down below. Very wonderful, warm personality. Very talented lady with photography and uh, music I just found out as well. But uh, there'll be a link down there. If you guys could go check out her channel, I'd appreciate it because I think she's gonna be a great asset to uh, our YouTube community here. Also tonight, we are going to have a little Christmas celebration. Christmas, the gift that keeps on giving. The city of Atascadero puts on this uh, event. Oh. Mm -hmm. I know it. What do you know? I know. Snow. What about snow? That it's cold and it's ice and that's what I know. Well, you know what? 
they say, one in the eye is worth two in the bush. <laughs> I love these little events. It's put on by a Tascadero Family Dentistry. I, I don't actually know that. I just happen to be standing in front of that building. It's kind of fun down here. Are you having fun, Sky Means? What do you know? Gummy bears. Gummy bears? Yeah. What about gummy bears? They're healthy and I'm going by now. They're healthy? No. Look at these dudes, they're like, what, what fair? Let's just go play in the uh, rocks in front of the building. <laughs> I'm also going to check out my man Loki here in fine, high quality, triple B detail fashion. Loki is one of the boas that my buddy Josh had me watch and I'm, he's staying here. This is his forever home. I always wanted to keep a BCO so it just made sense that since Josh couldn't take his snakes that I, he's staying here. Loki, the boa constrictor occidentalis Argentine boa. I don't know what it is that Jason sent me. Hi Brian, thought your videos can be approved with a new lens sure if that's how you spell lens. This thing is way too light to be a lens, at least any lens that I would consider using. Let's see what's going on here. What the is a lens? That's pretty cool. It looks legitimately like an actual Canon lens, but it's a cup. I've been talking with Jason about how he needed to get the lens with the red lines, the L-series Canon lens. It's the only lens worth getting, in my opinion, and spending your money on is one of these L-series lenses. Otherwise, you're just, you know, the lens, lens is where the quality comes in the video. If your lens isn't good, everything else might as well just not matter. Thanks, Jason. This is really gonna help me curb my new uh, coffee problem. Jason has a really good channel too, Morph Mixology. I'll put a link down in the description if you guys wanna check him out. I personally went into his channel thinking, let's see how bad this sucks, but it's actually pretty good. Anytime I go to see anything anybody's done video-wise, I go in thinking, let's see how badly this is gonna suck. Not because I'm a d or maybe because I am a d but my point of doing it that way is it lets me know where it, it sets my standards real low for anybody. You know, because I set the standards so high for myself that I don't want to set that same high standard for everybody. When I go to watch a video, I want to come in with no expectations. Basically, I set them like so low and like, okay, this is going to suck, right? Anything that I'm going to go watch is going to suck. And, and when it doesn't, then I'm pleasantly surprised. And that was the case with Jason's channel. It's actually really good, so the link is down there. If you guys go check it out, I would appreciate it. One of his first episodes was here in my snake room. This is cool, Jason. Thank you very much, dude. It's like so legitimate. They're, all the little details are there, the little autofocus and the stabilizer switches and the... I almost feel like I keep trying to take this thing off because it's like that's how loud real this thing looks. It's like, I won't, it won't come off though. Kind of a poor design for a coffee mug though because it's like, the, but the bottom is like, no support. <laughs> Sorry about your feelings, Jason. I didn't mean to knock them that hard. Or maybe I did. All right, so we haven't done one of these for a while. So I was gonna go on this rant. I was planning to go on this rant. I woke up, I've w I went through multiple days before deciding to go on this rant. And on the third day, I decided not to go on the rant. It was basically, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes so we can fit in the rest of the vlog. You can jump in Thank wherever you. you feel like it. <laughs> and I'm gonna talk to the people though. I'm not ignoring you, the I'm not on purpose. I'm talking to. So, just just about just in general like people apparently i've had too long to think about this people just getting crazy online basically i, I realize the hypocrisy of going on a rant about going on public rants <laughs> it's extreme hypocrisy there but the point is i i do i would do it in a more generalized way there's been like in the last week you know 10 to 15 maybe different posts that are just like people going off on people publicly 
w without seeming to have reached out to them beforehand, which to me is just like, doesn't do any good. Just reach out to somebody in person, work it out. And then, you know, I'm not saying there aren't cases where you need to take something public to help get somebody, you know, if somebody's in private is just like, no way, I'm not going to listen to you or, or I'm just going to, you know, have no decency about anything and you need to, for the public safety and the public, uh, you know, without, to keep people from getting scammed in public or whatnot, you need to put it out there to protect everybody else. Like, that, that's totally legitimate, you know. Otherwise, basically what I see is just some asshole going off on somebody in public because they're looking for attention. That's all I see. And I was going to rant about that, and I guess I just did. I just want to tell everybody right now that Brian Cusco is going on a rant for no good reason about ranting, and I don't like it. <laughs> oh, should I have addressed that so, with you per, so, in private first? I saw Is that what we're talking about? I mean, ideally. <laughs> So it's a lot colder out here than it is in the snake room. Anyway, I'm going to read a post that I saw that made me decide I'm really not going to go on the rant that I was going to go on because it, I had it pulled up and now it's disappearing and my five minute mark is quickly drowning away. Okay, it's a post by a, a, a lady named Brittany Gobble and she's new to keeping snakes but not new to animal keeping and breeding hobbies. Uh, and she says this, I just have to say, I have been blown away by how nice the reptile community has been. In just a few months, I have made many new friends around the world. I have received so many private messages welcoming me into the hobby or congratulating me on my collection. I know with anything that has to do with humans, there is always bad with the good, but my heart was just feeling happy tonight and I wanted to say thank you guys, heart. I can't wait to get to know all you better. So, an awful post. Yeah, horrible post, just full of, full of just bad vibes. <laughs> So, so I saw that, and I, I, it turned me around and made me remember that in my experience in this community hobby, per capita, there are more good people than any other community or hobby or any group of people that I've ever experienced in my entire life. So I figured we'd turn it around and focus on that instead. Because it is true. There, there are, um, as you haven't experienced, you need to come with me to a show. I do. Yeah. I do. But I'm, I have experienced very little of what you've experienced in this community and that which I have seen through osmosis of your participation he's right it's you know the ratio of quality people to can I say asshats I already said asshole okay asshats um, is a far better ratio than most other places um, you know and I can't say than anything I've ever experienced because I truly haven't experienced it in I, I'm just not a part of it other than like I say through osmosis so um, you know but I belong to a plumbing community online and what a bunch of <laughs> <sh> heads <laughs> it, I mean it's, they tear each other apart. It is awful. Oh, I thought that was just a pun on plumbing. It, it was. <laughs> <laughs> but they really are just ruthless. Which, I mean, that's sort of the plumbing thing. But, yeah, no, you guys have demonstrated from that, which I have experienced, to be a quality, quality group of people. Yeah. And that's what I'd like to focus on today on this Cusco and Cut. So we're focusing on that, and I think we just did. And actually, um, I think that that would be surprising to a lot of people that aren't part of the hobby um, or community. Um, and, you know, as a semi-outsider, there's this stigma around reptile people Am I allowed to say reptile people? Is that profiling? You can say whatever you want, man. Um, that they're hard, badass, you know, whatever. The stigma that goes along with reptiles, the people who affiliate themselves with reptiles often... What I've found and learned is that everybody that keeps reptiles as a hobby, in an industry, whatever, it's like a small slice of the whole world. Like there's the, the diversity within, the diversity of people within the reptile keeping hobby 
is as diverse as the entire world itself. It's like there are people from all walks of life that have found their way into reptiles. And the one thing that sets them apart from the rest of the world is the fact that they like reptiles, whereas, or snakes, you know, in particular are very much in the minority. People that like, people that enjoy the, the presence of snakes around them. Right. <laughs> You're in a big minority compared to the rest of the world. Right. Which is why, you know, it kind of drives me insane when people are attacking each other inside it. Because it's like, there's so many other people that would just be like, get that snake away from me. I don't want to have anything to do with it. You guys shouldn't be allowed to keep snakes. Yeah, and so why fight with somebody who, who actually enjoys what you enjoy? Exactly, exactly, yeah. yes. No need to make the community smaller. Right. Start isolating people. Exactly. Yeah. Cut. This is a good topic. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see where we're at on the timer. Just so that I'm not cutting this at all. Yeah, seven minutes, that's cool. We'll do it there. Okay. Thanks, guys. Oh, but we should do it, we should do a, a Coffee with Cuzzo segment like more regularly. Okay. Down? Yeah. And before we get out of here, as promised, Loki.